Hello, and welcome back to this uh, tapestry of video. I'm Raveler1. I'm so glad that you're here with me today. Uh, we are back with Crusader Kings 2, and I'm going to take this off a little bit so I can hear myself. There we go. Uh, we're back with Crusader Kings 2 in this achievement run to smash the patriarchy. It is currently the year 1024. That's 1024, a thousand years before where we are now, plus or minus a few years, uh, as it all happens. Um, we, uh, as we left off last time, our Duke, um, had his heir mercilessly killed by this guy, Duke Stitch, who, uh, then inherited the throne when another person assassinated our Duke. Um, who would have guessed that so much could have changed in so little amount of time? Our new Duke, Duke Stitch here, um, is new on the throne, uh, has a fairly decent military skill, so it might actually be good for us to be able to conquer the territory that we need to. We are uh, the titular Duke of Galilee, holding the Galilean area here, everything flashing up uh, in the, the yellow outlines on the map. And as we go through, we're trying to uh, recapture the five most important places in um, the, the Orthodox faith. Take the five Orthodox patriarchs, which are called the Pentarchy, and replace them with women. Um, that's going to be a little hard for us to do while our last ruler was, uh, um, I think it was Begomalist. Uh, our new ruler is Orthodox, and, well, this is the religion that we're trying to replace. Not sure that it's going to go so well, but we have some time. We have until 1400, so we've got a, a number of years left to go and generations left to happen. One of the things I'd like to do is uh, try to take the throne here from Tsar Dragoman, if we can at all manage it. Um, Dragoman's got a number of children, it's not in danger at the moment, but uh, if we could manage to take um, the throne for ourselves, that would be amazing. Uh, in, in fact, our nephew is currently um, betrothed to the uh, to the throne, so we may we may have a legitimate claim rather than having to make one up ourselves as we go. Uh, let's see, some other things. Last week, um, before I finished, uh, I started having some thoughts about these different titles. Um, you know, I, I always like to talk about, you know, Duke being below the King, King being below the Tsar, Emperor, whatever you want to will. Uh, and I came up with a very interesting idea. You know, as we, uh, think about in English, we've got a Baron and a Baroness, uh, that rules a Barony. And then you have a count and a countess that rule a county. And then you have a duke and a duchess that rule a duchy. So if you continue this on, right, wouldn't you end up with uh, a... Oh, what's next? A king and a kinges that would rule a kingy. And then a tsar and a tsares that would rule a tsari. And uh, I decided that this was too good of a pun not to use. So, sorry, not sorry. Uh, and I did post that on Reddit. I appreciated the opportunity to do so. Anyway, let's dive in. Let's see where we're going today uh, to see what all is happening. We're with our new duke here, so we've got to choose a new court physician. Um, Bogna, our kinswoman, Begomalist. This seems like a good person to have in court. See if we can spread some of this Begomalist heresy a little bit further. That'd be great. Um... Yep, and we just did that thing. And we have some commanders left to place. A commander. Wow, a six military? That's not so good. Nephew Mikhail? Sure. Head on in there. Let's turn the speed on and go for it. An old weather-bitten diplomat who has served in most of the courts in Europe, the ones that mattered at least, agreed to take you under his wing for a few days. He's taught you many valuable tricks in how to deal with vassals and other rulers. Much obliged. Gain of diplomacy. Fantastic. Waiting for things to happen. Sar Dragoman revoked a county, okay, uh, and wants to appoint us to the position of spymaster. Okay, sounds good. We're definitely a powerful vassal in the realm. I can understand why you want us on the council, so we don't rebel against you. Um, we can have our, our different things be made known to the world. Um, this chief of Montreal really would love to come in here and take this if we could. Uh, you're a little far away from us though. We need to have a, a border somewhere to make that happen. And Akka, I think, is uh, not independent. Yes, you are part of the Abbasid. The Abbasid. 
Um, that's not going to go so well for us. Good night. West Rancia is just taking over over here. That's incredible. Anyway, continuing on. Don't get distracted by the map. Things are happening. Mongols are over here. We're over here. We're getting some tech. Tech is always good. Jihad for Armenia. Uh, that is terrible news. Is Armenia... Um, interesting. Armenia only has about 6,000 levies able to protect them. And uh, in this fight, who are they fighting? Gotta look at the king. Do, do, do. Defending against Caliph Mukhtar of the Sunni Jihad. Oh, so that is the Abbasids. Uh, Mukhtar the Careless. Yeah, alright. So... Something like 26,000 troops going against Armenia here. Maybe Byzantium will support them. Uh, we've lost a Chancellor. That's not so good. Wow, we have some angry people in our realm. Um, but our wife could serve as Chancellor. That's great. You do not like us, why? Known murderer, a familial kinslayer, you know... It's the little things. And a reminder, I didn't do that. This was this character before we controlled them. <laughs> uh, Alright, sure. Uh, wife Maya, you can go out and do things of diplomacy. Like fabricate claims. Once we figure out where we want to fabricate on. Uh, we've been doing well in Ancana, I think. So let's, let's head back over there. See if we can extend up this way into Italy. Stables in Sofia. What is our goal? Acquire a title. Okay. Sure. Oh, and we're diplomacy focused? No wonder we just had some diplomatic help show up out of nowhere. Wow. We are not stewardshiply at all. Hmm. Interesting. Would have expected him to be um, more of an intrigue focused guy. Okay, what, uh, what options do we have here? We claim on Toronto, which is held by our kinswoman, so that's meaningless. Um, the Tame of Longobarda, which is our kinswoman that has that claim. Let's see. Actually, the Basilius only has like 8,000 troops right now. What is going on? Are they... They must be fighting someone. Kagan Bagator in the Byzantine Holy War for Kherson. Okay. Cool. Uh, while that's going on, any chance we could maybe sneak in for Antioch? Perhaps we ought to... Look at this. Where is this claim? It's over here. It's not going to help us too much at this point. And I'm thinking that a border war for some of this isn't so good either. Huh. Interesting, though. Perhaps I should have put uh, the fabrications over here. Well, we'll keep it in mind for later. So if we can take land from the Byzantines, that would be... that would be amazing. I think most of the regions we need to hold are there. I'm now known as the Cruel. Not really a surprise told. Who's in line for the throne here? Uh, our son. Okay, that makes sense. Um, Yvette is uh, in third in line. So, you know, we're making progress with the, the law. Um, status of women is notable at the moment. We're not quite to full. We're trying hard to get there. Any tech that needs to be done to get to the next level of tolerance is going to take 1,500. Good night. 
That's a lot. Perhaps we should do some investing in religious. Fortune builder. Somebody just did something. Good. China is continuing to be active in the world. People are dying, like happens all the time. Let's see here. Um, sure, let's improve our keep. Get some more troops out of the way in Sofia. And, uh... Oh, we could actually upgrade the castle town. Should have done that next, but we'll get some better stables there too. More troops seem like a good idea. We're going to take on Byzantium. Cyprian uh, Kasarova lived a pious life. No relation. Uh, that's nice. More saints. Doing saintly things. Making good income. Great. Our marshal has improved um, one of our commanders, who is Muslim. Interesting. Yeah, you should be training the troops. I'm not sure what you're doing. I mean, I know what you're doing, I just don't know why. Okay. Yes, let's see if we can't get Antioch... Uh, a claim on Antioch. Um, that would give us an opportunity, then, to uh, attack if we could get that one little place. Ideally, connecting through to Tripoli and Tortosa, but we can only do so much, right? Grief, there's a lot of these things coming in. Um, Safed is trying to fabricate claims, fine. Whatever. Yeah, we could claim it there. Um, we could ask the liege for a title. I am thinking that's not going to go so well, considering dishonorable, fam familial kinslayer, etc. Uh, whoa. You've taken a big hit here. rather not have the, uh, the Sunni take more land, but that would give them more of a bordering with the Byzantines, so maybe it's not the end of it. Although with a active jihad going on, perhaps can we declare war here? I mean, you've got two counties that would be really great to be able to, to work on. It, taking uh, Akka would be wonderful. Not sure that that's going to happen while you're 33,000 strong. You have more re uh, more levies from vassals than your maximum. That's weird. A great philosopher has agreed to come. Okay. Lose 133 gold, but we gain 50 cultural. Well, we need all the cultural tech we can get if we are going to smash the patriarchy. China has recently been suffering from droughts. Um, the caravans are not going so well. Yes, they only recently were able to overthrow the Mongol um, leadership in China. Everything in China is off-map in this game, uh, so you kind of have to read the events and go through there. I've decided to revoke the county of Sofia. Uh, no. Either step down peacefully or I'll be forced to take what is mine by military means. Uh, no, you're not taking Sofia. I will not be blackmailed. This is, uh... Good thing we're raising more troops. Okay, um... This is not gonna go well. How many troops does our liege have? 13,000? How many of those are from us? They're already at half strength from other things. Do we have any alliances? Uh oh. This may not go well. Especially since we don't have the money that we would need to hire some mercs. Well, you're still saying that you've got some 13,000 troops, which is more than twice what we have. Well, not more than twice, but. A little help we could get by. Okay. Um. 
scary. This is not a thing that we want to do much with. We're not giving up the county of Sofia. That's like our capital. Heir to the kingdom of Germany? Wow. Bulgaria is uh, expanding into Europe in ways I did not expect. In any case, no, 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 no. Let's raise up our troops. Remembering to raise our vassals as well. Try to get everybody into Sofia. Maybe the mountains will help be our, our shield here. We all get together. We all get together over here. Who's not moving right now? Why not? Uh, because you've got everyone joining you, that's fine. Same deal. And you're already in Sofia. Okay, we need to raise some ships, get our people over that way from the fleet. Uh, we can only take 1,500 at a time. Unless we raise our vassals. I think this is a good time to raise our vassal fleets too. for some reason? Oh, because you're already moving. Of course. It's been a little bit. Gotta get my keyboard shortcuts back together. Uh, also, we're going down to speed three, because we're not fighting a war against our liege that way. Well, former liege. I guess we're independent now. It's one way to do what we needed to do. I don't think we've got any allies we can call in either. No allies. Not a good state of affairs, folks. Wait for these ships to get in. joys of trying to group everybody together. Let's see, do we have uh, the ability to borrow some money? Because quite honestly, we could probably use it. We're close, we're close. And without the ships up, I think we'll be okay. It's gonna anger our um, religious vassals, but we can only do so much here. Oh, wow. Um, Damascus joined in against us? Maybe we should fight them. We can defeat them in in uh, portions. That will be very helpful indeed. The only way that works. No. Oh, we have forty. Somebody's got to stay behind. Not the retinue. Thirteen's not going to do it. Five hundred is too many. Fifty nine isn't quite there. Getting closer though. Ninety five will do. Okay. Y'all get on the boats. Ooh. Now this is a good question. Where do we actually land? Since we can't land on the sea here, I think we're going to have to do this going this way. Let's see, you are all liege levies, right? Thank you. The hundred of you can go back to your fields. There's a part of me that thinks I'm doing this wrong. If I can defeat 5,000 of their troops, how does that make us work better together? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, right. <laughs> They're not going to land. That's no longer uh, allied domain. 